these three great rock songs use just five chords. You can learn these classic rock songs on the guitar. It's fun and easy. Let me show you how. Sha la 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 da da. Welcome back to Relax Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin, and this is Maggie May, and she's a little, little hungry today. My <laughs> wife Vicky's behind the camera. Hello. Let's get started. When you guys are done with this lesson, be sure and click the link in the description below. I've got the uh, chord chart, the tablature for all three of these great songs, and in those lessons I expand a little bit more on the strum patterns. You can play these three classic rock songs using just five easy open chords. The first song we're going to learn is a little Bob Dylan, Knocking on Heaven's Door, and this one is actually just going to use four chords. We've got a G chord, a D chord, an A minor chord, and a C chord. We're going to start with a very simple strum pattern for this song, just down strums. There are quarter notes, so you have one, two, three, four. Tap that toe, and that toe hits the floor when you count those numbers. One, two, three, four. Starts out on a G, and the G is going to get two down strums. One, two, to a D for two down strums. One, two, and then an A minor for four down strums. One, two, three, four. So that G and that D, it's called, uh, they share the measure. So they kind of split that measure in half. They each get two down strums each. So you have, this is the, uh, part. Then we go G twice, D twice, to a C four times. Just repeat the G, D, A minor, G, D, and C. And we have G, Mama, take this badge off of me. So same progression, same pattern. G, I can't D it any C. Getting D too dark for me to E A minor G twice knocking on heaven C Knock knock knocking on heaven's door Knock knock knocking on heaven's door Guys, I could just do this for the entire video. <laughs> so what I've done there is we start with that pretty simple down strum. That's really kind of the basis to get to. Nice and steady. Brings back memories. <laughs> yeah, it's a great one. And then for the chorus, we're going to spice it up a little bit. We're going to move from the down, 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 down pattern to eighth notes. Down, 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 down. Or you, you would count it like this. One and two and three and four and. They're all still down strums. We're just kind of doubling them up. I like doing that for the chorus because it changes it up a little bit. So you have starting on that G. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. So you see we've gone from just the two down strums on the G and the D to four. So it's twice as fast. Then the A minors and the C's get all eight of those eighth notes in the strum pattern. If you guys like this lesson so far, be sure and hit that like button. We would really appreciate it. It helps us grow our channel here. Next up, we've got a little Marshall Tucker band and Can't You See. We've got just three chords in this one. They're uh, chords we learned in the last song. We have a D chord again, a C chord. Great tune. Great it's a, tune. It's a great song. This is really good for beginners, too. And a G chord. We're going to do the same thing we did on uh, Knocking on Heaven's Door. For the strum pattern, we're going to start out with four down strums. One, two, three, four. 
uh, quarter notes again. It starts on a D, so we have Gonna take a freight train to C Down at the station to G I don't care where it D And that just repeats again, same uh, chord progression through the whole song. D four times C four times G four times and then D four times. When we get to the chorus, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Can't you see? Can't you see? Yep. But that woman been doing to me. We're kind of doubling up a couple of things here. We're going to add up strums in between our down strums. So our strum pattern moves from one, two, three, four two, one and two and three and four and. So we're just putting up strums in between our down strums to make eighth note, that's why it sounds faster. Faster. Yeah, one and two and three and four and. We're also doubling up on the chords. So it's the same chord progression, D, C, G, and D. But in the chorus, those chords each get two strum patterns and it sounds faster and more movement because of the strum pattern changing. So you have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and what that G been doing to me. The other thing I'm doing is a slight little touch. I'm accenting the first and third beat. So instead of this, you have this. So just a slight accent or a slight heavier strum, if you will, on the first and third beat. No specific string, just... Yeah, it's just all the strings. Okay. But you're just doing a little more accent okay. on the first and third. Next up, a little Brown Eyed Girl, Van Morrison. Uh, this one using just four chords, but we do have a different chord in here. So we've uh, also sharing this G, we've already covered. The C. The D. We're adding in a new chord here, E minor. So for this strum pattern, we're going to start out with the down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up pattern. The eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. You don't really got to worry about like accenting anything here. This one's really mostly about just staying in time and in rhythm. We're going to be playing the, this chord progression and for the verse, each one of these chords gets one of those strum patterns. One and two and three and four and. The uh, chord progression or the pattern for the chord progression, I should say, is G to C, then G to D. That's over and over. G, C, G, D. Then we have the one and two and three and four and. So I'll just kind of play through it here, following that chord progression, uh, so you can kind of see how it all fits together. So you have Hey, where did C go? G. Days when the D came. G. Down in the C. G. Playing a new D. G. Laughing in a C. Skipping in a D. In the misty sea fog. G. R. Hearts are thumping and you. So it changes up a little bit here. C to D, my brown eye G, E minor. C, U, O, D, brown eye G, to D, and then back into the verse. Then we get to the part of the song that everyone knows, and I uh, love doing the sha la la's. It reminds me of sha na na. Remember that TV show? Yep. Uh, so for this one, this happens like in the middle of the song. It's after that D chord at the end of the verse. Um, brown eyed girl. Do you remember when? So you hang on that D. 
We used to sing G G G C C C C G G G G D D. Sha la 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 da da la da da. No, I could do that all day too. It's just a fun song. So be sure and click the link in the description. Like I said, you can get the uh, versions of the lessons where I expand a lot more on the strum patterns and move more from beginner to more intermediate. Uh, got the chord charts and the tablature as well, so check that out. To learn seven more songs using just four chords, check out this video next to add some more songs to your set list. Remember that Vicky and Maggie and I very much appreciate your reviews, your support here on YouTube. Thank you so much. Uh, remember, you're never too old to learn, and we'll see you guys for the next lesson. Take care.